In this video, we're going to look at the general settings of WordPress. This is likely the first thing you'll configure after setting up a WordPress site. We're going to take a look at changing the blog name, which you set at the beginning of the setup wizard. We're going to change your permalink settings, which are the thing you will almost certainly want to change. And we're going to look at the static home page versus blog home page dilemma. Okay, so we're logged into our WordPress site here. Please log in as the super user, the admin user you created. The general settings are under settings, general, and these are the most basic settings for your site. If you've got uh, a domain name pointing towards your site, you could put that in here. So this would be, in the end, it'll be test.tutorialinux.com. And this is simply for the purpose of redirects and canonical URLs. We can change our site title and tag name here. You can set the admin email address, time zone, new user default role. Make sure this is set to subscriber. You really don't want anyone signing up accidentally as an admin. I also recommend turning off registration. And all of your settings, once you change them, will need to be saved with the save button on whatever page you're on. The most important thing you'll probably want to change immediately is the permalink settings. This is something that a client probably won't find on their own. The idea is, goodness, it looks like this has finally been changed. Okay, so for years, the plain, what's now named plain, uh, was the default options. And this is just looking up a page by ID. So for some post, you're looking at ID, you know, XYZ. This is terrible for search engine optimization. And I see actually now that it looks like in the latest minor version, maybe even the major version, I just didn't notice it. It looks like this has been changed to what we actually want, which is day and name, usually. Uh, post name is also useful. But the idea is that search engines really love keywords. And if you can put important keywords into the URL, they're weighted as fairly important. So just changing from this plain URL scheme to the post name or day and name scheme can be really useful. It'll help you climb the search rankings for whatever keywords you're targeting. And even if this isn't super important to you, it's probably pretty important to the clients which will be using this. So make sure your end users know this. Either do it for them or make sure that they know to do it. But it actually looks like the after 10 years, they finally stopped using this terrible, terrible plain scheme by default. Well, that's encouraging. For myself, I like to use just the post name scheme. It's shorter, looks a little bit less complicated, and um, I'm not particularly interested in creating sort of dated content. I like to create what's called evergreen content, something that's always useful. So to avoid putting anyone off that's going to see that and go, oh, this post is three years old. It couldn't possibly apply to my situation. I just go with the post name URL scheme, which just has the post name without a date in the URL. Let's go ahead and save whatever you want, as long as it's not plain. And let's have a quick look at reading. Your reading settings are where you define what shows on your front page, your home page. There's some other settings here, but they're less important. You'll find yourself looking for these settings quite a bit, and it can be frustrating because I don't find this like settings reading to be that intuitive. But when you're setting up your homepage, by default, WordPress is a blogging platform and therefore it displays your latest posts. However, if you'd like a static front page like many websites do, so people that build a corporate website or a business website with WordPress, they'll want a static front page. You know, hi, we're, you know, ABC Widget Company Incorporated. And so the front page, you'll simply select whatever page you've created. And as our post page, we'll select an empty page, which we've created with no content. And WordPress will play all of our posts in there. We'll do that once we switch to our web store. But for now, you can leave this as just your latest posts. But this makes sense, right? If you want a static front page, you create that page, which you'll see how to do soon. Select that page as your front page, and then this is your blog, 
basically, you're moving that from your default front page to whatever empty page you've created for it. Okay, so we're gonna save these changes if you've made any. We haven't, so we're fine. And I'll meet you here for the next lesson. We'll start on the dashboard again, and we'll be covering user administration. There's a couple important things to say about this, but it won't take long. See you in the next lesson.